Hi everybody, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be making you all some uh, rib tips. This is St. Louis, this is a St. Louis cut and I had went into Publix and they cut it for me. It was, it was about, uh, I said about this long and about half of this uh, width. And I had him de devein it for me and he cut it into pieces that I wanted. And I'm gonna make y'all some rib tips. I used to eat this when I was a kid and I haven't had any and I said, I'm gonna cook this for you all today. Okay, and what I'll be using, all my ingredients are, I got garlic, pepper, paprika, <laughs> says it better, y'all. This is pepper, this is chili powder, some onion powder, brown uh, sugar, and this is salt, some salt. Okay, this is what I'll be using. I'm gonna put all this in here. This is a, about a teaspoon of salt, two, two teaspoons of paprika, paprika. <laughs> <laughs> some pepper, I say about, this is about a teaspoon of pepper, and chili powder, about a teaspoon of chili powder. I don't need that much because I'm not making, but uh, this was one slab, and this will feed about four people, and some, this is uh, some onion powder, and here's some brown sugar. And what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna mix all this together, to, um, uh, mix it good, and I'm gonna uh, season my, uh, my rib tips with it. I'll show you, uh, a, and this is a, called a dry rub. And you're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about, I've let mine set for about three hours in here. And uh, once I get it, uh, and then I rub it on here, and set in about three hours, three to four hours, I let it marinate. It don't take that long. Okay, get back with you. Okay, you all, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna season all of these up, I'm gonna spread it on here, I'm gonna put them in this little pan here this pan here and let it uh, uh, marinate on here uh, about, uh, I said about three or four hours, like I said. And while this cooking, I'm gonna make my barbecue sauce and you all have checked my uh, channel out and uh, see how to make my barbecue sauce. I'm not gonna make this on camera because I have made it three times on my channel and I'm gonna just make it, uh, you all go check it out. And I'm gonna let this, uh, once this get through staying in the oven, uh, refrigerator for a couple of uh, hours, and three or four hours, then I'm gonna put it in the oven and let it slow cook for two hours, about two, uh, two, two to three hours. Okay, y'all. Okay, uh, my ribs had been sitting in the refrigerator for about four to five hours. I rubbed the, I dry rubbed the sauce, the, the ingredients I'm using, paprika, I used chili powder, salt, garlic, onion powder, uh, and pepper, and also used some brown sugar. So that's been marinated for, for four or five hours. Okay, now I'm getting ready to make the sauce that's going to go in the bottom of the pan, because I'm going to cook these rib tips for about, um, about, uh, about, two hours, two to three hours on 250 degrees. I got it on 250 degrees and I'm gonna cook them about three to four hours. So right now, what am I be using for this right here for the sauce? I'll be using some uh, vinegar, a half a cup of vinegar, some wine, cheap wine, just this pine pineapple flavor wine, and a uh, half a cup to mix together and some brown sugar. That's all I need for that. And we'll put this in and, and probably some, uh, I'll use a little chili powder too. So I'm gonna put this in here, half a cup of vinegar, half a cup of wine, and some brown sugar. And put a little brown sugar in here. I'm gonna stir this up really good. And this one I'm gonna pour in the bottom of my ribs. I've been marinating for those time. Stir this up pretty good. And I'm gonna put this in the bottom of the pan because this is gonna uh, steam up and put up, get onto the ribs. And while it's cooking, and I'm gonna make my homemade barbecue sauce, and I made it several times on my channel, so just go on my channel and see how you make barbecue uh, sauce. I'm not gonna make that on, with this video. Okay, and I might put a little, I said chili powder, just a little bit, a little bit. That smells so good to me. Oh, that smells good, now yeah. Like I said, it's going in the bottom of the pan. So I'm gonna put this in here. This is wine, brown sugar, and a little vinegar. So 
So I'll pour this in the bottom of this pan. I'm, I'll be using this pan right here. And we'll pour this in the bottom of the pan. Okay. Okay. And these uh, rib tips, they've been marinating. I know this is going to be good, yeah. Been marinating that long, so I'm going to set these in here. And like I said, I'm going to let this slow cook for about three hours. I'm going to check them, see if they get tender. Then I'm going to finish. I'm going to make my bar uh, barbecue sauce, like I say, um, when I, while this is cooking, slow cooking. And just go to my channel. It'll tell you how to make barbecue sauce. I used to eat these when I was little, but I don't think I had the St. Louis uh, uh, style. I think I just, they just cut the end off of these and they didn't do all of this. And either put some barbecue sauce on, but it still was good. I don't know how they cooked. My mama cooked and all those people cooked years ago, but the food was still real good. So I let these cook in here. That's about big enough. This will feed about. Not four people. This was one slab. Okay, now, so I got this in here, nothing, and nothing in there. And I'm gonna set this in the oven, like I say, and I'm gonna let this cook for about three, two and a half to three hours. And once that's finishing, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm making my barbecue sauce while that's cooking. Okay, and I'll get with you. Okay, the, uh, the tips, the a uh, uh, beef t uh, barbecue tip, rib tip. They've been cooking for about, um, they cook about three hours. So now I'm going to go take them, put them in the sauce. And then uh, do their thing in the sauce for a few, not too long. Just put them all in there. I made my sauce, you know, from a uh, scratch. I made it from that from my uh, channel. Matt is a uh, I got barbecue on my channel two times I made it but so I used that I'm putting these in here these are so tender and good I taste them they season good enough I'm gonna put the oven on what 350 okay. Okay, and set these, then I'm going to put these on here and let them cook a while, about 30, excuse the noise, y'all, and let it cook about 30 minutes with the barbecue sauce on it, and then I'm going to put it in the broiler. It's some good sauce. It is easy to cook. If you don't want to get that uh, St. Louis uh, strip, it's a little cost a little bit more. Just get a spare rib and cut it off yourself. Cut the tips off. You can cut it off, and make sure you devein it. Take the back off so it can cook good. Okay, and I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven. Let this barbecue sauce uh, seep through it, and after that, I'm gonna take and put them on. I'm putting the oven on broil and let them get them a little crispy. Now I'll be finished with this, but here is one right here. It's so tender. And I'm gonna taste this one. Tell you how tender it is. Fall off the bone. See, it is so tender and good. Mmm, mmm, that's good. When they season good, just follow my instruction. Make sure you use that. Um, my barbecue sauce. Okay. Get back with you when they cook for about 30 minutes. Here's the finishing of my rib tip, the last step. I'm going to put them on this pan and get them ready to broil. I set mine in here so that sauce can go through it and so it can be, you know, you don't want, once they broil, it, it'll be stuck, the sauce will stick on here. That looks so good and they taste, they're so tender. Call rib tips. Some people let them, well, how they serve them, like if in the restaurant, they take and let them stay in the juice. I don't like for mine to be in the juice. Now, you can let them stay in the juice if you want to, but your juice is not won't be as thick as mine. Okay, I'm going to put these on broil for about a minute or two. Turn your stove on broil, 
and let them let this sauce just get on top. Put it out there. It's so good, and they taste so good. My sauce is delicious. Okay. Y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen, and here's the results of my uh, uh, St. Louis uh, spare rib tips, and they are so good. Take them from the spare ribs, and you can do it. It's so, follow my instruction. It's a good side dish you want to eat. You can have a potato salad with it. You can have anything you want, string beans. It's a good uh, uh, dish for the holidays. It's simple. You, if you wanted the bones off, you can cook it with the, with the bones on it without cutting it in, in little uh, bits, bite pieces. Or you can cook you can cook it whole and make sure you de-vein it once you, if you're going to cook it whole. It's easy for them to cut it in pieces like I did, you know. Thank you for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share it with friends and family. Thank you for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen.